Microsoft has just had an extremely successful product launch of their new OS, Windows 10. With an estimated over 70 million installs in just two days, they're on the fast track to having the largest data mining platform in the world. So in today's video, we're going to take our tin full of hats down the path of reclaiming our privacy. You can feel free to click on the button below to skip to the tutorial. I'll put it right around somewhere. But what I want to do is take a second to talk about why this video even exists. A term floating around the internet lately has been the Microsoft botnet. A botnet, of course, being a large collection of drone computers that sit around and await for commands from the lead computer. A term that is actually kind of fitting in this situation. With the release of Windows 10, a large number of privacy concerns have arose that have gotten a few people a little worried. Now, on the surface, the entire reason for Microsoft's decisions behind this could be completely innocent and solely geared towards providing the best user experience possible. But it's not hard to see them just wanting to cash in on the most valuable digital resource available, personal information. Mining data for millions or even billions of people every single hour of every single day will give Microsoft the ability to know anything and everything about everyone. If you ever heard or made the joke that Big Brother is watching, this is not that joke. Big Brother can target you if they want. They can follow you on the streets, bug your phones, and yes, even track everything you do on your computer. But for the most part, this is for specific reasons, and in order for a governing body to do this, they usually need permission. Not that that's ever stopped them before, but hey, that's a whole nother conversation altogether. The latest in privacy invasion actually comes from Microsoft with the ability to know everything you say or do on your computer all the time. They track what you type, what you search for, your browsing habits, the contact information for people you know, they know and share your passwords, they can control when your updates are delivered, and they can even give you advertisements straight to your lock screen or your start menu. This is why I'm making this video. While I did search on the internet to try to find other people's methods for reclaiming their privacy, I was able to take a look into it myself, dig a little bit deeper, and go beyond the Microsoft UI that they provided and find my own tweaks. But after a while, I quickly realized that there were a lot of hidden settings and things that I didn't know about that I needed some help on. I should disclose that this tutorial is all about limiting the amount of information Microsoft collects about you, so in doing so, it will disable a few key features. For example, Cortana. I recommend that you pick and choose what matters to you the most, and in the end, do your own research if you have any doubts. So let's get started. From the beginning, while you're installing Windows 10, you want to make sure to not use the Express settings. Hit the Customize button and in the following screens, make sure everything is turned off. Furthermore, use a local account rather than signing in to a Microsoft account. These steps are going to be the front lines for maintaining some of your privacy. After installation, you will gain access to more privacy options by going to the settings and then into privacy. From here, you will want to turn off everything you can find. The advertisement ID, smart screen filter, key logger, and website access thingy is the first thing you will see. After this, go ahead and turn off all location tracking options. Then you can also disable your camera and microphone, but keep in mind that you may need to visit this page again if you end up needing it available. After, you can turn off more key logging by making sure this button says get to know me. If it says something like stop getting to know me, then click it. Our next screen allows apps to have access to our information at will. So of course, we're going to need to go ahead and turn that off. And then the same thing can be said for the contact screen. Again, keep in mind that this might be something that's needed for programs that you use, like your email. So if you need to revisit this or customize it, please do so. And unless you want your computer to remind you of events, you can turn off access to the calendar and messages. Lastly, on the feedback page, set it to never and basic for these two options. The next step is a big one that basically allows Microsoft to steal bandwidth from you and push their updates to other people. Go back to the main settings screen, click on update and security. Once in the Windows update area, click on advanced options. Then choose how updates are delivered and try not to be too shocked. Yes, you are reading this correctly. They want to turn your computer into some sort of botnet torrent machine that delivers updates to other people's computers. To combat this, we're going to go ahead and flip that little switch that you see right there in the middle. 
Next up, let's try to get rid of our little digital spy. Go ahead and click on the search icon or click in the search bar. Then in the settings, turn Cortana off. And if you want to, disable the option to search online. Some might actually find this useful. So just in case you don't want to be tricked into using Bing, you can always download the Chrome browser, set it as default, and then install an add-on called Bing to Google. Okay, you're doing well so far, but now we need to dive a little bit deeper into the system and kill off the rest of the key loggers. So from your search, type in CMD and right click on the command prompt and select run as administrator. Now type in SC space delete space diag track and hit enter. Then type in SC delete DMWAPPUSH SERVICE and hit enter. Now, either from the same command prompt or in the search bar, type in gpedit.msc and press enter or right click on the icon and select run as administrator. Once inside, go through computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, data collection, and preview builds. Double click telemetry, hit disabled, and click OK. Staying in the Windows components, go to OneDrive and disable it for file storage, unless, of course, that's something that you use. Now we're gonna dive into your registry editor. So I'm gonna put the string at the bottom of the, uh, the screen here so you can follow along. But go ahead and go into your search bar, type in regedit and run it as administrator. Go through HKEY local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version policies, data collection, select allow telemetry, change the value to zero, then apply and close the screen. Don't worry, I will post that below so you can follow along. Last but not least, let's block access to all that crap that Microsoft wants to use by editing your host file. So first, go to this link, which I will put in the description, and copy everything to your clipboard. You can do that by highlighting it and either pressing Ctrl-C or right-clicking and selecting Copy. Then in your Windows search bar again, type in Notepad, right-click on the icon, and run it as administrator. Once opened, go to File, then Open, and select your main hard drive. From here, let's follow the path from your C drive to C, Windows, System32, Drivers, and then ETC. And then above the Open icon, or the Open button, you'll see an option for a drop-down and select All Files. You should now see a file called Host. Click on that and open it. Now, we're just going to go ahead and paste everything you have in your clipboard here. So, Control V or right click and paste. Don't worry, you will still have access to your updates doing this. This is only going to limit the unwanted connections to Microsoft. If you would like to follow most of these steps in text form, I will link the original Reddit post in the description. You'll note I made a few changes, but in the end, most of the credit goes to him. I look forward to enjoying Windows 10 and taking advantage of new games with DirectX 12, if I ever actually get a new video card. It is definitely stylish, and it loads really quick. Only wish that Microsoft hadn't taken the path of farming data from all of their customers. Now, I'm sure some of these things can and will be useful to some people, but for me, not so much. Hope you liked this video. If you did, drop a like below. And if you want to hear more about random tech stuff, make sure to subscribe.